with Jackie. Okay, so I am going to do the four or more tag. All right, now I saw this tag, and actually this um, person started it. Um, it's Kirsten from It's Kirsten. Her channel is hilarious. She, like... She sings more than I do, which I didn't even think was possible. It's so funny. She will literally sing, like, a snippet of a song after every video, at the end of every video. Um, she's hilarious if I will link her channel below because <clears throat> she's full of fun. So if you like me, you're probably going to love her. Um, but she started this tag, I guess, back in December of... I don't know, last year, the year before, November, I don't remember, the details are, you know, minute here. Um, but basically the tag is, if you own four or more of something, and she's not talking about, am I really crooked here? Yeah, what the heck? Um, is that better? Uh, and she's not talking about like, uh, you know, like you purchase like a set of something and it just came with four or more things. She's talking about like if you loved something so much that you went out and bought like all the colors in that line or, you know, like that type of thing. So I have my four or more. It's all on the back table here. So I'm going to be turning around a lot and I apologize, but you know, we're going to do this. Um, Okay, so let's start my four or more tag. First of all, let's get this out of the way because I have way more than four of these. What do I have right now? 14 of these. <laughs> these um, Coastal Scents Forever blushes. Now granted, yes, I did buy these all together, but it was because I wanted every single color in the line. Okay, so I bought them all at once as a group. But still, I love them. These are some of the best blushes I own. Um, they're so highly pigmented. They do last such a long time. And there's such a huge, like, color range in them. I'm not going to show you everything because literally that would take a lifetime. And I did do an entire full swatch video. And the reason why I have fewer than when I started is because I have given some away. Because, hello, why do I need 18 blushes? Um... But that's my start for four more. Um, four more. I have four, exactly four Urban Decay palettes. Um, I have the Naked 1. I have Naked 2. I have Naked 3. And <laughs> the Not So Naked Urban Decay Electric palette, which I'm wearing today on my eyes. Um, I did film a tutorial for this as well, so that will be up later on, but that I got four of those. Um, I have exactly four, and I did have five, but I gave one away to my friend um, Jillian. I have four of these Milani baked eyeshadows. This one is in the shade Melange. It's a nice black. This is I Heart You. I did a tutorial with this. Um, this one is, I don't know, because the thing is ripped off in the back. And then this one is Beach Sand. And I also had a white one of this that I gave to Jillian because she's like, oh, I like that color when we were in the store. And I'm like, I own that. Just come back to my house and take it. So that is my four of that. I also own exactly four BH Cosmetics palettes. Um, I own their Take Me to Brazil palette, which is amazing. I've done tutorials out of that. Um, the Galaxy Chick palette, which was the first BH Cosmetic palette that I owned, and I loved it so much I had to buy three more. Um, the Party Girl palette, which is a really nice... Um, you know, you've got just like a really nice variation of shades. And then the Special Occasion Palette, which is also, um, a blush palette as well. So you're getting nine eyeshadows, or nine blushes in there, as well as the 39 eyeshadows that come with it. So, that's that. Okay, I also own exactly four of these e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I love these. I love the formula of these. These are fantastic. They're super cheap. They're a buck. Um, this one is in the shade Baby Lips. 
I actually own two in this shade, Pink Lemonade, because the first time I went to use this, if you can see in this one, the top came right off, so I had to buy another one because I loved the shade so much. And then this one is in the shade Ruby Slipper. So those are those. I love them. They're awesome. Um, I also own, these are also by e.l.f., and I own seven of these because I have one in my purse, too. Um, these are the super glossy lip shines. Um, this is just like a clear one. They don't even have names on them. I own this like nudie one. These are so nice. They're so thick and they last a really long time. And especially, like if I'm saying lip gloss lasts a really long time, they're long lasting. Especially for a gloss. It's insane. Um, okay, what do I own of these? Six of these Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencils. Um, I have, I actually just bought a backup one for my continuous almond because this I'm finding is getting a little bit dry for me. And and maybe that's the reason because A, I have the wrong top on it and B, the top just cracked. Um, so I have a backup for that, which it looks like now I'm going to have to use. Um, then I just bought a black one, Stay on Black. I just bought a Tenacious Brown one. And I also have the Pink Evermore and the Eternal White, which I used today as like my base shade. So these are awesome. They're only like three bucks. I can find them at Walgreens. It usually has the whole line and they're hidden. They're like under the cosmetic counter. Um, okay, so I have, I think five of the um, eight pan palettes from Wet n Wild. These are the two that I gave in my gave away in my giveaway. Um, these are the limited edition ones. This is the walking the red carpet. Here's the flirting at the after party. And then <coughs> I own Petal Pusher. Um, <coughs> Blue had me at hello. Excuse me. I like inhaled something. And um, the comfort zone, which are all in here. Um, I depotted them and put them into my like own little palette, but. I love those. The quality of them are amazing and the price, I mean, they're $5 a piece and you're getting eight eyeshadows. Really, you can't. And the eyeshadows are big, too. <coughs> okay. I own four of the Stila Metal or Magnificent Metal Foil Finish eyeshadow things. Um, this one is in the shade Pixie Dust. This is Vintage Black Gold. This one is metallic golden pink, and then this one is in the shade metallic Merlot. Okay, so I find across the board, these are all kind of like a different consistency. The, the metallic golden pink is just really, really flaky, and I, even when I'm mixing it, I don't know, I've got to play around with it more, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but... I think my favorite out of all of them is this vintage black gold color. It's just so gorgeous. It's a nice, like, you know, you can wear it probably every day if you felt like it. Um, I love those. Those are really unique and cool. A little on the pricey side, but, you know, whatever. I own four of the Maybelline color tattoos. Um, this one is in the shade Pomegranate Punk. These shades are super duper similar, and I didn't realize until I got it home. <laughs> But this is barely branded, and then this is from their, like, new, I don't know, I'm pretty sure they're limited edition. This is Pure Nude, which looks, looks almost identical to barely branded. Didn't know that till I got it home. And then this is in the color uh, Tough as Taupe. So those are those. I love those, obviously. Um, I need to get more of those because <laughs> they rock. I own exactly five... Milani Baked Blushes. Um, I own two from their new, like, matte line. Um, this is Delicioso Pink. Sorry about the fingerprints, but I have fingers and I touch these. Um, this is Bella Rosa. This is Fantastical Mauve. 
Here's Red Vino. And then this is Dolce Pink. Are the five shades that I own. All right. I own six of the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Um, this one is Milk. This is like the one that you probably hear talked about the most. It's awesome. This one is Cottage Cheese, which is like a nice, just shimmery cream shade. This one is Yogurt, which is more of a champagne color. Um, this one is Strawberry Milk, which is just a really nice frosty pink shade. This one is Rust, which is a really beautiful, like, maroon color. And then this one is Black Bean, which is just a nice matte black shade. So, I dig all of those. Um, I own eight NYX Butter Glosses. I went from owning zero to owning eight in like a matter of two weeks because Lynn, um, in our haul swap, she sent me four of them, I think, and then I went out and bought four more. So the shades that I have are Cherry Pie, um, Cherry Cheesecake, Creme Brulee, Strawberry Parfait, Apple Strudel, Peaches and Cream, Peach Cobbler, and Eclair. So these are awesome. I love these, especially like with summer coming up, you know, just to give your lips just like a sheer wash of color. They are awesome. They feel really good. They're not exceptionally long wearing or anything, but I like them. Um, okie doke. I have five, and this might be the entire line of these actually. I have five of the Jordana Lip Out Loud um, super shiny glosses. These are some of the best glosses. My friend Stacy was talking about these the other day. She's like, oh my gosh, I just picked one of these up and they're awesome. I need to go back and get them. I'm like, get them because they rock and they're two bucks a piece, two or three bucks. So you can't be mad at that. Okay. So this one is in the shade XOXO. This one is in the shade BTW. I'm not making this up. This one's in the shade OMG. This one's in the shade ASAP. And then they must have like run out of things to say because this is in the shade E123. <laughs> um, what could this one be? OMG? No, we already have that. ASAP? No, we already have that. Uh, E123. That sounds good. So, whatever. I'm not mad at the people for, you know, skipping out on the last name. So, neither should you be. I have exactly four, which is all the colors that they have, of the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, blushes. I can't tell you right off the bat what any of these are, except this one I know is Heather Silk. This is one of my favorites. Um, it's just a really pretty cool pink. I think that this looks good, like, with anything. So I love it. Oh my gosh. I have six of these Gel 2 Reaction Nail Polishes. Now these are the ones, these are gel polish. These are the ones that change color. So depending on whether you're hot or cold, these will change colors. So this one is Lay Me. Um, this one is Tequila Sunset. This was the first one that I got. This goes from red to pink. Um, this one is Tahiti Sweetie. This one's Mai Tai Fine, right? No, yes. <laughs> this one's Crantini Bikini. It goes from like a maroon to a coral. And then this one is After Dark, and that goes from black to gray. I actually have um, a video on this color changing. If I remember, I'll link it below. Um, if not, just go to my channel, go to the search bar, and search gel, and it will come up. Um, I have eight China Glaze nail polishes, and it looks like some of them are starting to, like, 
seep out of their bottles. Um, I really like China Glaze. I have like a myriad of shades. I think that they stay on a really long time. I like the formula and they're not that expensive. I usually pick these up at Sally's. Oh my gosh, I have 18 Essie polishes. Okay, here's some. Um, I love, this is like one of my favorite shades, Mint Candy Apple, I love that. I love this one too, what is this, No More Film. It's like a really pretty navy color. Um, Here's the rest. I know. Was that like the worst display of anything? It's like you see the back of my head for half the time and then some nail polishes. I have a lot of those. Um, okay, let's just go with the nail polishes. I have seven. Son of a gun. From OPI. This is like probably my one of my favorite colors. It's called The Devil Made Me Do It. Um, by OPI, but I like the formula of OPI. I really do. And I own seven of them. Okay, I have also seven of these Revlon ones. These guys. You know, just the ones in the little, like, son of a gun. Oh my gosh! Um... <laughs> Yeah, these are awesome. These are actually like some of my most long, longest wearing nail polishes. These really like don't want to chip on me that much, so I love those. Um, okay, I own exactly four Milani um, lip sticks. Um, this one is in the shade Nude Cream. Then this is in the shade Sangria. Okay, my memory f card filled up. Um, okay, so back to business. This one's called Sangria. I don't know if you saw that one or not. I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at my camera. Um, this is the one that I was like, uh, let me do my orange lip with. This one is in the shade Sweet Nectar. And then the last one that I have is Black Cherry, which is a really nice deep um, color. I love it. I love it. Okay. I have... Oh, no. A better gloss just rolled the entire length of my desk and fell off in the crack. Um, I own nine of the Jordana lipsticks. Okay, Jordana and Milani are sister companies. They're under the same umbrella. I like the Jordana lipsticks better. I think the formula is better. I think they stay on my lips personally better. And um, they are less than half the price. These are like $2, 2 to $3 in the store when I find them. Um, this is in the shade Raspberry. I love that. I'll just show you some of my quick faves. Uh, this is like my all-time favorite red. This is the shade Garnet. Um, love it to death. And then let's see. Oh, I love, love, love this hot pink color. Can't be mad at it. I love it. Um, so yeah, I have got, I've got a bunch of these. I think the formula is awesome and they're so inexpensive. I mean, the packaging isn't much to look at, but... You know, who cares? Unless you're like one of those people who feel like you need to pull out your lipstick and like touch it up and you're just concerned about what other people are going to think of you if you have Jordana on it. Uh, spray paint it gold if you need to, you know? Make it look like an Yves Saint Laurent or something. Um, I have five of these and one of them is in my husband's car and it's actually my favorite one too. It's the darkest one out of the line. Um... Shoot, I don't remember what it's called. These are the Revlon Color Burst um, lip glosses. This one is in the shade Crystal Waters. This was in the shade um, Crystal Lilac. 
This is in the shade Strawberry. And then this is in the shade Bellini, which I love for a nude gloss. My friend Suzanne had suggested this in our Plays Well With Makeup group, and I finally picked it up after passing it up forever, and I'm so glad I did. I love it. Um, okay, I have four of these NYX Liquid Crystal Liners. Um, these are cool. These are like a nice, really fine textured glitter, um, and I like the formulation of these a lot. I don't use these typically for liner as much as I just use to put them as like an all-over glitter over my lid type of thing. Um, this one is in Crystal Silk. It's like just a muted gold sh shade um, that you can compare it to the Crystal Gold. Do you see how much more champagne the first one is? Um, then this one is Crystal Hip, which is just a nice, like, iridescent glitter. And then this one is Crystal Silver. So it's silver. Um, okay, I have five. I love Jordana. It's like, I realized that I love Jordana after going through my collection, and I'm like, wow, I love Jordana. Lots and lots. I have five of these made to last liquid eyeliner pencils, and to be perfectly honest with you, I'm pretty sure this is the whole line. These things rock my world. They are so awesome. They go on so creamy and stay on for life. Um, this one, I have the brown one, I have the green one, I have the black one, I have, what color is this? That purple one. <laughs> and I have the turquoise one. I love these. They're awesome. They go in my waterline real nice. And again, they're super inexpensive. Okay, I own a buttload of EcoTools brushes. I don't feel like counting, so we're going to count it up to a buttload, which is this many. This, <laughs> this is the load that my butt can hold. Was that too much? I don't care. Um, some of these I have brought, bought in kits because they do sell um, the EcoTools brushes in kits, and then some of these I've bought individually. Um, my two most recent purchases are this custom buffing brush, which I love. I just washed it yesterday, so it's like a little wonky looking. Um, and then this little um, eye enhancer duo set, which you get two brushes for six dollars, but they're both double-ended. And really, every single end of these brushes can be used, which is awesome. EcoTools is so great. They're cruelty-free. They used recycled aluminum for the ferrules right here, and then bamboo for all the handles. So, they're awesome. I love them. The quality is fantastic, and they're really so inexpensive. You can find these anywhere. They're at every single drugstore. They're at Walmart, and honestly, I passed them up for the longest time because of the price and because they sold them in Walmart like a snooty little brat, and guess what? They are awesome. Um, I also have a half a buttload of EcoTools brushes. Um, again, I bought some of these individually and some of these in a kit. These are also so awesome. Let me show you like some of my standouts. This one I bought by itself. This is their silicone liner brush. This is such a unique brush. You can put on any sort of like gel liner with this. It's so awesome. You can even use um, this for the Stila Magnificent Metal Foil to apply, you know, that stuff with. Oh, they're awesome. Um, I use this every single day for my blush brush, and then this is like one of my favorite foundation brushes. It's just the Expert Face Brush. These are awesome. Um, I find these at Ulta sells these, and also Kohl's sells these. So if you guys have a Kohl's, um, Kohl's, Kohl's. if you guys have a Kohl's, I don't know why I'm saying that like that. Near you, um, pop in because they have those buy one get one half off a lot at my Kohl's. Um, is that it? Okay, now 
I have, this is like kind of like an honorable mention because I don't have, these aren't all from the same like lipstick line, but I've been really impressed overall with NYX lipsticks and kind of across the board with like I have some of their butter lipsticks that I love. I have one of their um, matte lipsticks, which uh, this is the matte one in Alabama. And Jackie O made a great point on one of her videos. She's like, this is not matte, it is satin. And I've never even really thought about the fact that, no, it is totally not matte. It is satin. But... I still really like it. The color is like banging. And then I have, these are just what, they're just their regular lip smacking fun colors. Um, this one's in the shade Iced Honey. I like that you can see the color on the bottom too. It just makes it really convenient. This one's in the shade Doll. A nice like pinky berry shade. And then this one um, is in the shade Cocoa which I really like. It's a, this is like a beautiful nude shade on me. Um, I love it. And one more honorable mention. I have three of these, but I, I need to go buy more because these are some of my all-time favorite lip liners. Guess who they're by? Jordana! Um, these are absolutely banging. They go in your mouth so nice. They're retractable, which I love. I hate sharpening stuff. Is that so lazy? It's like you gotta find the sharpener and then you gotta twist your hand. Um, three times. And so these are awesome. This is like my favorite red lip liner. And I have a bunch of red lip liners. This is the Sedona Red. It is like perfection. Every red lip liner I have is either too dark or it's pink. And that pisses me off. Look at that. That's red. It's totally red. And ugh, I just love these lip liners. This is the first one I got ever. This was this is called Rock and Rose. Um and then this is the shade Cabernet. But I love these. These are awesome. And amazing. Okay, so that was my four or more tag. Um, you know, I'm going to tag Kristen Game in this uh, video because she does um, like a Tag Tuesday video every once in a while. So I think it would be fun to see what she has four or more of. But anybody watching this, I would love to see your videos. If you want to do this tag, feel free to post it in the comments if you've done it. And have a great day. Bye.